Hi, I'm Colleen Doctorin with KCCG Channel 2 News. Today, Lakeside Nature Center, in partnership with Animal Health and Public Safety, released a rehabilitated hawk back into the wild. Yeah, I'm super excited to, uh, to be out here today and be a part of this. You know, this is the hawk that uh, I got called out and got to, uh, to take out of the guy's bedroom after it crashed through the window. Um, Lakeside Nature Center did a great job rehabbing the bird and uh, to be here today to, uh, to turn it loose is, is really exceptional for me. I think this goes to show that Kansas City Animal Health and Public Safety, when partnered with Lakeside Nature Center, um, shows that the city is really dedicated to animal welfare and uh, as a whole the city is very dedicated and uh, compassionate to animals. A little back history, February 6th, we got in a female red-tailed hawk from Kansas City um, Animal Control and uh, or actually Animal Welfare and Public Safety. Uh, Chris here brought, us a, uh, brought her in and she had flown through a gentleman's window and had become injured in flying through the window. Uh, she had lacerations on her legs and she broke quite a few of her fe feathers. She broke tail feathers and primary feathers, which uh, would mean she would not be able to fly and hunt for food. So in the process of rehabilitating her, we took care of the uh, lacerations on her legs, which were no problem. She healed up really great, but we were in the dilemma of how can she fly? Um, she could fly a little bit, but she's never going to be able to hunt for food, which means she won't survive on her own. We could wait a few months at least until the feathers fl grew out and then grew back in. Now we're talking probably six, seven months or so or we could do what's called imping. And I have to give credit to my staff, they did a fantastic job. Imping is when you take uh, feathers um, from another red tail and you actually attach them kind of like a prosthetic feather to this red tail. 10 of her f tail feathers are now red and because uh, she's a young bird, so they're actually brown. So now she has 10 red feathers of an adult and a few of her brown ones and her primary feathers, some of those were also imped. And what will happen is when she naturally molts, those feathers will fall out, the, the prosthetic feathers, and her new feathers will grow in and she will be just fine with all brand new feathers. But instead of waiting six, seven months, we can wait two weeks. So that's a really great time and a bird that is, can be very high stress. You want to get them out of rehab, back into the wild, back into their, their native area so they can survive and do what red tails do. The animals that come to us are severely damaged, they're sick, not all of them survive. So when we can have a win, this is really great, but you're also stressing the animal out. <laughs> uh, we come, every time we handle them, we do stress them out. This is a wild animal and they're terrified of us. Um, to a red tail, I'm a predator, you know what I mean? I'm going to eat her, even though she, obviously I'm not, but she, has no, she doesn't know that I'm not. Um, so just simply handling her, when you saw I, I did have to pick her up because she was actually upside down and so I did pick her up. Uh, we hope to simply open it up and have them fly away. Um, actually, it did pretty good. She flew away on her own, which was fantastic. Thanks to this partnership between Lakeside Nature Center and Animal Health and Public Safety, this bird can now return to the wild where she can survive and possibly have babies in the future.